Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com, and what I want to do today is go over a question that I just received the other day, and I've went over this before, but I wanted to go over it again, and it's a real simple, basic uh, Photoshop uh, hang-up sometimes for some newbies, and what it is is how do I get this image, okay, or you know how, how do I get two images open at once, and then how do I get this image when we're talking about digital cutouts and digital props and backgrounds, how do I get this image into here? You can see this shot was um, taken in this field, but then we went over here and we created this shot with one of our digital creations, okay? And we put the little girl behind the uh, lemonade stand, which by the way, this is my little girl. So uh, her name is Kayla. She's gonna make lemonade in this particular picture. In this one, we just had her out in the open field. They're both great shots, but this particular one, I wanted to go over because we wanted to put her in a lemonade stand. So here's how you do it, okay? You're gonna go to file, you're gonna, you're gonna go locate the files that you wanna open. So you're gonna wanna go to that particular folder. In my case, it's folder A, and then we're gonna wanna open up the first image whichever one that is. Now you may still have to cut out your uh, your image, which I'm not gonna go into that um, in this particular one. I've already went over that in other videos and I'll put a link down below this video or this blog post wherever you're watching this video right now. Um, so this way here you, you understand that. So let's open up the second image. So you're just gonna go to file, open, and then go back into that folder or, or whatever folder that image is in. In this case, it's my digital creation and I'm gonna open that one up. Now, here's what happens, and every version is gonna be different. If you're working in elements, it's probably gonna be different. You're probably gonna have a tab bar down here with thumbnails that pop up. Um, in this case, I'm in CS5, and what it does is it automatically loads it into a tab, okay? To get these two apart, you just have to drag and drop and then it just disconnects the two together or it just unnests them. If I wanna nest them again, I just drag them back into each other. And I already did a short video on that because that sometimes hangs people up. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's just delete this particular um, uh, subject there and then uh, let's drag this out so we see that they're both, in, there are two different images, one here and one here, right? I can just click on either, you know, wherever I want. Click on here, it, it, it activates that one. I click on here and it activates that one. I can move them around separately, independently, uh, you know, so this way here, there's there are two separate images. But what I wanna do is get this particular subject that I already cut out into the other one. So here's what we're gonna do. Get that out of the way. Click on that. I'm gonna grab the layer where, where I already did the cutout and I'm just gonna drag it into here. And now you can, oops. Now you can see that it landed right here, okay? Uh, which is where I want it. I do want it behind the cover-up layer. Now if you've never used one of our digital backgrounds or props, um, we usually create a cover-up layer and that's what this one is and I'll talk about that in a minute. But let's just go ahead and, uh, and bring this subject into position and resize her. Now, you're gonna notice, if I click on her, look, it wants to click on the most top layer because I have this where it says auto select. So just uncheck that, and then that won't happen. Click on the layer that you wanna move, and then now you can move that wherever you want, okay? Now, let's just move her up to the very top now, and you'll see that she's out in front of the digital background and prop, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her behind it with the cover-up layer. That's This is only if you're working with one that has a uh, cutout, you know, or a cover-up layer. Now we wanna scale her. So I already have the bounding box set, which is up here. If you don't have that selected, it says show transform controls. If I turn that off, you don't see them. If you, if you check it, you do see them. Now if you don't see them, you can always go to edit and then transform and then scale and then you can scale that. I'm gonna hold the shift key, and I'm gonna bring her up a little bit. So this way here, she's a little bit too big. Let's bring her into about there, and that looks just about right. She's a little crooked, so I'm gonna take and go to one of these on the side here. Actually, we'll go to this one right here. Now let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's go to edit, transform, and then rotate. Again, that's edit, transform, rotate. Usually you can just go to the side here. For some reason it's not working today. And then just rotate it, go back to your move tool, click apply, and that is done, okay? That's how you get an image into another image, okay? Or you open two images at once. Or if you're working with three different components, then you would just go file, 
open and then you would go and find that next file and then open that, you know, click, you would select it and then go open. Okay. And then it would open it up and the same thing. It would nest them together and then you're going to want to pull them apart. I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps you uh, understand uh, how to get an image open, get your subject so this way here, you can take that layer and drag it into the, the uh, document or the image that you're working with. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Once again, I'm Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com. This is one of our digital creations. We're calling this one Fresh Squeezed Lemonade. Go figure, right? It's a great name because what? We're squeezing lemonade. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can find more like this and this one over at our Digital Creations Club. Uh, if you visit uh, newportraitbiz.com forward slash club, and that'll take you over there, and you can check all them out as well. And once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com, and I'll talk to you later.